when converting data like this so that it goes into its own column, so you can be a little bit careful about things like this, the bank account number. For one, you don't want to lose these leading zeros. And for another, just for now, notice that the first one's got a nine. And we're going to see a problem with that later with very large numbers. So if I want to convert this into its own columns, I highlight it, data, text to columns, it's delimited. I can see it is using an upward line, so that looks fine. If I click finish, so it seems to have worked, except notice the bank accounts seem to have some strange formatting. I'm just going to change it. We're going to say make it a number. When you look now, this bank account number, it's missing. There should be a leading zero here. And even worse, it ended 119. Now Excel, because this number is so big and it's treating it as a number, it just cannot handle a number that big. So anything after this one will become a zero. So if you had bigger numbers, it would go zero, zero, zero. So this is not our ideal way. I'm just going to undo until we get back to that. So the way to make sure you don't lose the leading zeros and you don't have Excel change these numbers for you. So we go text to columns, it is delimited, it is still delimited with that. But now instead of clicking finish, I go next. And what you'll see is we can specify what these columns are going to be. And the key here is at the moment they're all general, which means Excel guesses. And if it looks at this, it'll say these are numbers. But I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to tell it it's text. So ignore the fact that it looks like a number. Just give me every character you see as you see it. And now when I click finish, you'll notice that the bank account numbers have the leading zero and have the, the nine at the end. So it doesn't matter how long this number is, it is just treated as a text character.